Hello, welcome to another video tutorial from Polymath Learning Center. Today we are going to go through three questions that is about the concept excess and shortage. Some of you may know it as gaps and differences. Without further ado, let's get down to our first question. The question is, Mrs. Chan has some stickers. If she gives each student in her class three stickers, she will have 25 stickers left. If she gives each student in her class 5 stickers, she will be short of 21 stickers. How many stickers does Mrs. Chan have? First of all, let us go through how we identify an excess and shortage question. An excess and shortage question usually has two ifs in the question. In this particular question, it was told to us that if Mrs. Chan gives each student in her class 3 stickers, she will have 25 stickers left. Again, if she gives each student in the class 5 stickers, she will be short of 21 stickers. Secondly, an excess and shortage question will usually involve one excess and one shortage. You can see from the first situation that Mrs. Shan has more than enough stickers to give each of her students 3 stickers. And therefore, the 25 stickers she has left is an excess. We can also see in the second situation that Mrs. Chan does not have enough stickers to give each of her students 5 stickers as she will be short of 21 stickers. This shortage is the shortage that we are referring to. Now that we have identified the question as an excess and shortage question, we can proceed to solve the question. As we do not know how many students are there in Mrs. Chan's class, we let the number of students be 1 unit. If the number of students is 1 unit, if Mr. Chan gives each student 3 stickers, then she will give a total quantity of 3 units worth of stickers. As Mr. Chan is able to give 3 units worth of stickers and still have 25 stickers remaining, her amount must be 25 more than 3 units. Therefore, we draw her amount 25 stickers more than 3 units. Reading further, if she gives each student in her class 5 stickers, she will be short of 21 stickers. That means Mrs. Shan's number of stickers is less than 5 units. And how much less? To buy 21 stickers. So we draw 5 units above Mrs. Shan's stickers by 21. Now that we have the model, we can see that the difference between 5 units and 3 units, which is 2 units, is actually equal to the sum of 21 and 25. Since now we know that 2 units are equal to 46, we can find the number of students as the number of students is 1 unit. We divide 46 by 2 to find 1 unit, which is also the number of students. We can then make use of the diagram to help us derive Mrs. Chan's number of stickers as her stickers is equal to 3 units plus 25 stickers. Alternatively, we can also use 5 units minus 21 to get the answer of 94. Now that we have covered on how to solve an excess and shortage question, let us move on to a similar question which instead of having one excess and one shortage, now has two shortages. Similar to the previous question, we start off by letting the number of students be one unit. Therefore, in the first situation, Mrs. Chan will give a total of 4 units of stickers. This time round, however, Mrs. Chan's number of stickers will not be enough to meet these 4 units worth of stickers as she is short of 12. We therefore draw Mrs. Chan's number of stickers to be below 4 units and we label this shortage 12. Moving on, we read that if Mrs. Chan gives each student 7 stickers, she will be short of 45 stickers. As 7 units is more than both 4 units and Mrs. Shan's stickers, we draw 7 units at the very top of our diagram and we label the shortage as 45 stickers. We can see from the diagram that the difference between 7 units and 4 units is now not the sum of 45 and 12 but the difference between 45 and 12. Since 3 units are equal to 33, we can find the value of 1 unit by dividing 33 by 3. This would actually give us the answer as the question now asks for the number of students which is equal to 1 unit instead of asking for the number of stickers that Mr. Shan has. That is all we have for you today and thank you for your time. Please do subscribe and like the video if it has helped you and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.